So, welcome back to Plus Tinkering Garage, and today we're gonna continue uh, our project, which is uh, making this circle skirt in our brand new series, uh, Clothes in Action, right? So, this is what we got so far. Yesterday, we made this beautiful uh, circle skirt, right? So, this is how it looks. Uh, and today, what we're gonna do is how to we got to do what is so that we stay true to the series title right it's clothes in action so today we're going to put this skirt in action right so we're going to put it in kind of a dynamic poses but before we do that we we have to move around the model right so this is our model right so this is our 3d model and we we're gonna before we move the skirt around we have to move this rig around first right so yeah so we're gonna pose our rig right here so yeah that's what we're gonna do today however to do that to to help us do that right so so here's the thing about posing right so it's not something that i can teach you about it's not something that i can teach you it's just because posing is not something that you teach it's something that you have to observe by yourself you have to see people move around in real life and you have to and you have to apply that yourself to your own rig right so unfortunately i cannot teach you how to pose however what i can do is to tell you about the add-on that i have created that i have poured my hearts out into making and that's basically what you probably have seen being posted in my uh, YouTube channel right so this is a, f a few last videos are basically talking about this particular add-on and it's called Jason post manager right so in there you will find the link to the Gumroad store to my Gumroad store and this is uh, the add-on right so so yes, it has been released and it's now for sale. And uh, of course, it is a paid add-on. You have to pay fifteen for the basic and sixty for the universal. Uh, what's the difference and how to use it? You have to uh, to, to watch our videos uh, that uh, we have posted uh, so far, right? So you have to watch this if you want to use it. And yeah, so for those of for those of you who want to buy it right so right sorry for that right now we are for the release of jpm uh we you we also use uh discounts right so for those of you who watch this uh series right so you will uh get you will get a, a code a coupon basically and it is a ptg jpm right so i will put the code the discount code on the description box along with the link and so that you can apply that and get 15 percent off from our jason post manager add-on right so in there in jpm uh you will also get uh as a bundling package you will also get uh this this model and also this rig so that you can use it directly uh after purchase uh and yeah so this is freebie you get you get the model and the rig right so on top of that you will also get 50 percent off which is a great deal so that's it and oh it's also for those of you for the first it also applied to the first 15 buyers right so if you so for the first 15 lucky buyer right so make sure that uh you do it quickly before it, the coupon runs out and yeah that's all about it so let's go back to our blender right so this is what we got so far right so before uh behind the scene i've created this uh props right the simple cube and also a simple floor as our prop and yeah now I think we are ready to move around our 
Great. So first of all, let's hide our fabric, right? So what we're going to do today is to post this 3D model first, right? So let's go to post mode and now let's open our uh, JPM. So this is how JPM looks like. And uh, yeah, so down here, I have also created this four poses. These poses is, are also included in the package. So you just have, so you've got the rig, you got the model and you also get the poses. So you can actually just straight use it straight away, right? So, okay, now that's it. Now what this is, so when you click this, it goes to rest, which is the, the resting pose. But if you click this pose, it will go to this sitting pose, just like its name suggests. And this one is the kneeling pose. And this is the chasing bus poses, pose, right? So it's kind of fun to see, right? So yeah. So next thing that we're going to do is that we have to animate that movement from the rest to the sitting or from the rest to the kneeling and the rest to the chasing bus. Right, so to do that, we have to kind of scroll this. Okay, first of all, you can just hit I and then available just to kind of uh, insert keyframe for everything, right? So, and then you gotta go and slide it to 40A, something like two seconds, right? So, and then you click the sitting and then click I again and choose the available right so right now if you scroll this you will see this movement right so yeah so if you play it with the playback you will see she is moving to the sitting pose right so yeah that is good however the next thing that we're gonna do is yeah so right now we just have to kind of a uh, pop in our skirt Right, so this is our skirt, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a surface D4 modifier, right? So here it is, right? Put it to the top and choose our 3D model as the target. And also, this is also important that you have to choose the vertex group and we have to choose our pin, right? So remember that our pin is basically our waistband right so we just want we just want the the waistband to move along with the body right so the remaining part this this the actual skirt part is going to be free moving right it's going to flow and do skirt stuff while only the waistband follows along with the body right so that's what we want and and yeah and i think that's it so the next thing that we're going to do is actually to to kind of bake this right so first of all we have to turn on our cloth uh, modifier physics modifier and also down here you will go to cache right so anyway i've created the whole thing before i've kind of uh simulated the whole thing before but for the sake of simplicity uh for the first demonstration i'm just gonna rebake the entire thing so the simulation start is zero and go to 696. So the body st stops at 48, right? So give it another two seconds uh, to kind of uh, give time for the, the skirt to kind of settle down. So, so yeah, that's it. And I think, oh, and also you have, you have to kind of uh, turn on the collision for our uh, cube and also our floor right as well as our body as you can see that this tree is the collision so that the, the the skirt will react to those collision right so so yeah i guess i guess that's it and now we can simulate we can bake the simulation and click bake okay anyway i think i gotta forget to pin to, to click the bind right so yeah that that sucks so yeah you should click the bind first and yeah i think we're gonna have to re-simulate 
everything again so let's delete the bake and yeah let's rebake it six and that's okay that's completed uh, yeah now if you play it yeah, as you can see that now it behaves properly and yeah as you can see that go to 96 and voila right so that looks cool with all this folds and everything right so first you just have kind of a add something to it maybe a little bit of solidify i think and a little bit of subdivision and yeah that is cool right so maybe not subdivision it's going to be a little bit heavy maybe something like smooth corrective probably and use only smooth something go up and yep oh no i think just go here and only smooth yep it's too much one probably and and yeah now that looks cool look at that now that looks a little bit more interesting than that one isn't it so yeah that is our first bait simulation so let's turn it off and maybe i can do it something like two yeah that looks better right so yeah that looks sorry about that pretty good right so you can just use uh against sorry for that again uh you can use it you can go to cloth and save as shape key and yeah so you can now have this thing turn it off and now you can do that instead and yeah now you can you can render this like it is right so this is our first pose our first dynamic pose our first action right so the next thing that we're gonna do is to repeat the process. However, I'm not gonna rebake the dynamics again, uh, rebake the simulation again, because the the process is pretty much the same, right? So if you see this, uh, if you see in my in our skirt, you will see that I have actually done it before, and so this is post one. As you can see that that looks exactly the same like that one because I have simulated this thing before right so that's cool this is for the second post okay however what we're gonna do is to kind of a uh, switch our post from that post let's delete keyframe and let's go to kneeling poses to our kneeling pose and go available right so it goes that to that right so that's cool now let's switch our bait to the post two right so if you go there you will see that that is our kneeling poses right so oh this one let's turn off our shape key our corrective shape key and 96 and voila that looks pretty cool isn't it you go to corrective smooth and that looks divine isn't it so yeah that's the thing that's the second uh, that's the second pose right so let's go with the third pose right so uh let's go to our pose mode and go to 48 
and delete the keyframe and let's go to the chasing bus this is a fun pose very very fun uh, the model is like chasing a bus right so or train actually you can go both ways uh, and yeah now go back to our skirt and uh, let's choose our third pose and now if you run it you will see that they moved along like cool isn't it now you get you can go because normally when you kind of jumping through and walking you don't hold your pose like that so you can actually go with the 48 probably another four frame and that's gonna be the pose right so yeah that looks very dynamic just like you're really just catching up a bus right so yeah 48 is pretty cool as well actually yeah that's okay now that is our third pose right so yeah now the last pose that i want to show you this one is the cool it's not it's not really practical in real life however you can do this is one of the easiest posts that you can do even without the add-on itself and that is uh the swirling the twirling thing right so basically what you're going to do is just pick the root and then you're going to rotate it along the z-axis minus 360 degrees so they go back to this uh, pose but it just minus uh, 360 so one full rotation and you're gonna animate it so this is how it looks right so yeah go back to our skirt and go with our pose 4 and this is gonna be looking pretty good right so that twirling and maybe hold it up here 72 pretty good isn't it so you've got that very dynamic twirl around the skirt which is good and probably you can add some corrective smooth to make it a little bit smoother and maybe one and yeah maybe you can also do something like 48 when it goes to the goes back to the something like that and look at that now that's looking good isn't it so yeah that is four poses that we have we did right now and that shows you how dynamic our uh clothing can be with a little bit of tweaking and all that and make it more a little bit more interesting and appealing for uh presentational purpose because uh as you can see that we don't change anything we don't change the functionality we don't change the the shape or the structure of the skirt we just basically buy and the skirt the waistband to the body and that's it now the, the simulation does the magic the rest of the magic by themselves and yeah so far it's it's looking good right so that will add some interest in your cloth making journey and, and yeah i guess that's it for this video and i think that's it for the circle uh skirt episode right so so yeah i get i guess i'll see you later